Hi, I'm Scott from Bookshanks and I'm here today to review The Twyford Code by Janice Hallett. And you will realise that I've got a guest today because apparently I can't be trusted to do my own reviews. Hello. So I'm not really sure how this is going to work, but basically I've been told off for sitting on it for about two weeks. That because is... I tried filming before and was on the verge of spoiling it completely. So um... That is not entirely accurate. I feel like I need to chip in that. He didn't even let me say my own name there. Hello, I'm Lucy. Um, so when he said I can't be trusted to film my own videos... Well, right, you guys, Scott read this about three weeks ago and I've been like, are you going to film a review? Are you going to film a review? Um, and he's like, it's quite hard to talk about. Um, All right. <laughs> it's really hard to talk about. So, because I want him to film a review. It's, it's, it's sort of book that's quite hard to spoil, so I don't... I'm going to just sit and ask him questions and he can say the answers. That is how we're going to do This is the first okay. on this channel. Okay, we can try it. If it tanks, let us know in the comments below. It's, it's... Scott, what's the book called? <laughs> Um, the Twyford Code. Who wrote it? Janet Hallett. Even, even I can read that. So, so I believe it's her second book. The first one, The Appeal, was best-selling and took a strange format and this one is a unique format as well. Okay. But... Did you enjoy it? We'll start there. Good, bad or medium? Uh, I, I would say medium. There's, there's, there's good bits, but then there's something that just didn't work for me. The style, personally, just didn't work for me. Oh. I didn't know. We were, I didn't know I was coming in for a for for a rant review. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not a rant review. It's it's just so. So really, the premise of this book is it's made up of transcriptions, like computer transcriptions of audio recordings. So if you put the closed captions or whatever it is on this video right now, <gasps> you will see it does a terrible job of translating what I'm actually saying because we've got dodgy accents. So, Mumbles. So, 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 but this book is all pretty much like that. So it's all reading the equivalent of the closed captions. So the whole book. I actually, I need to say, I really don't know anything about this book. So the, the whole, the whole <gasps> book. It is. Look. The whole book. So interesting. So a main character in this book is called Miss Isles, a teacher. But all the way through there, she's just called Miss Isles. So it's transcripts all of Miss Isles, Miss Isles. Yep. Talking. Anybody else talking? Um, it's, it's different, it's, it's actually, it's not her talking, she, she's, this isn't even like... <laughs> Just roll with it, come on! I said, this is even more chaotic than if I'd actually attempted to do it, so, so... It's pure chaos on our channel now, right. I'm going to stop talking. You just. I, you I just need to remember. I, I I need to remember what I actually wrote. Can so. I can I tell them? It's yeah. got post-it notes on the back. Bless his soul. This this is getting so edited out. <laughs> it's not. It's not. One day. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Jump cut because even by our standards, <laughs> that was descending into even more chaos than usual. Um. So, so we paused. We had a I, I thought this was meant to help rein me in and just like... It's a one-time thing, this, you guys. One-time thing. Oh. Um, so we've had a little word with ourselves and we're back. And I'm going to ask <laughs> simpler questions. <laughs> so question number one. Scott, what happens in this book? Right, right at the end, you want the spo full spoiler version? No. Like, at, at, a high, at a high level. At a high level. The book opens with a letter from a police officer to a professor at a university saying... We've got this iPhone 4, very, very randomly, it's always very specific about that. Product placement! Yeah, oh, it, she on the, it is. I was going to say, she's on the tape. But it not. is, and actually going back to, to, to the style of this book, it's always got a trademark sign after it, which I found, t to my point earlier, a bit, a bit irritating. Um, but <laughs> Stay on track, what's the book about? <laughs> okay, so, about? so basically the person who's on this iPhone 4 is a sequence of like 100 voice recordings. Um... And the, the person who filmed them, or sorry, not filmed them, recorded them, has now gone missing. Ooh. And the clues potentially to where he is um, may lie in the voice recordings. And what, what the voice recordings start off to be about um, is about an ex... Oh, it's from the perspective, and the main re person recording on it is an ex-convict, Stephen Smith, who's recently got out of prison. He's doing voice recordings because he only learnt to read and write while he was in prison, but he still finds it hard work, so it's a lot easier for him to do voice recordings um, to himself. Um, Sounds good now. Th th than it is to, to, to write. 
and he's he's right he's he's doing them for his son basically um and basically he follows this premise of actually a whole series of events that were triggered by him discovering a book when he was a child on a bus taking it to his essentially remedial english teacher and the group of five of them following this book and the book was written by someone called Edith Twyford um he, he's he's clearly a well a knockoff of Edith Enid Blyton um so it's, it's, it's a sort of it it then transcends this book and it takes him on a mystery in various paths so it's a mystery book it is very much a mystery book about one primarily where this individual's gone because he's done the hundred of recordings but you know at the beginning of the book that He's disappeared by the end of it. Okay, so way, the way you've just described it, sorry, we should have opened the video with that description because that was a really good description and it makes me want to read the book. However, you said you didn't like it because of why I, you I think like it was it. more the style. I found the beginning front end of it pretty slow um, oh. for me. I, I didn't, I didn't, it, was, it wasn't engaging enough and there wasn't enough peril, I would say, for me. Peril, we need for, peril. For me, for me to really care about. Um, this particular book. Um, Lack of peril, major um, flaw. The, I would say the peril comes in later on, but... But it's described on the cover as a modern Agatha Christie. And actually, she doesn't really do peril. There's never any, like, real peril, is there? Right. It's, like, quite... They're cosy mysteries. Like, you yeah, never feel like you're actually But the, at the, risk. the difference to me, Agatha Christie, you better read pretty quick. I found, because of the style of this, oh. it slowed down. It's all about the style. It's for me, I think some people may may love it, but um, for me, just the style didn't work. So, so all, all I would potentially suggest, if you think about it, I'm sure I don't know, if pre preview the book on any of the online retailers, and I'm, I'm <gasps> yeah, sure that, you could you good could advice. you could actually go and trial the the the, the writing style. Trial and if, the style, and if it does your head in, um, it's not the book for you, and um, maybe. But it, could do I can see it's clever, but like it, it just it just makes it a bit harder to read. This sort of book you want to fly through, um, but it doesn't. But also, that's the risk, isn't it? That you take as both a writer and a reader with if you muck around with the style, people are either going to love it or they're just going to be like, nope, aren't yeah. they? Like when you like do really original things, um, you know, it's a you know you're going to lose as many people as you gain, aren't you? Yeah. So it doesn't mean that it's a bad book. No, it's so, 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 so if you can, if if you can get over the style, which maybe some people will love the style, which just for me. I think they work. will. And do you know what? You always rip me when I'm like, um, it just wasn't for me because you're like, it's a polite way of saying yeah, it sucked. But actually, <laughs> you genuinely are saying it just wasn't for me. Yeah. It was. It's a good idea for a book. I know. I can see just the style being. The delivery being, is not to your personal taste. Yeah. Being my mate. <sighs> you guys, I think we got Scott to do a review. I know. I think it does explore some some fairly personal oh, he's, points. Oh, still going. But, but yeah. Go on. What are the points? I, I was going to say, it explores about literacy, potentially how it would lead to crime, and then actually, like, that that side of things, which is, is interesting. Bit of a social but, theme in there? Yeah. Okay, we can, I love a good social, political, cultural theme. And, 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 and there is also a cool premise of, like, codes potentially being hidden books and stuff like that, and being used as a way of... <gasps> are there Easter eggs in here? Are there, like... Potentially, <gasps> potentially. Are there but it's quite hard for me about? to also do this about spoiling the book so do you know what it's screaming to me as you're talking right now yeah book club if you've got a book club yeah. it's gonna be divisive you can drink your wine <laughs> and find the easter eggs and there talk about go. the social issues and i sound like i'm being really divisive but actually love a good book club um but there you go is there anything else you would like to say scott crookshank no, before I'm good, we wrap thanks. this up i'm good thanks and, and if you hated the format of this interview please don't tell us <laughs> do you know what when you do something original you're going to lose as many people as you get yeah, yeah. Aren't all, you? all those down thumbs <laughs> all those down th have they not taken off down thumbs on youtube no, i don't know they did that on instagram didn't they i don't know i think they're still there i'm sure we'll i'm sure i'll find out, out. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Should we call that quits before yep. our camera battery runs out? Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to let you sign off because it's Good. your review. See Remember? you later. And if you love that video and you want more, please do subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or please unsubscribe. Subscribe. No, don't do that. They're not all like this, I promise. Bye. Let's see it.